Costello, please, do you realize we've been walking around the store for over three hours and you haven't bought a thing? I can't help it. I can't find a pin I like, and I don't know what else to give my girl. Well, uh, why don't you buy Miss uh, Pool Q a diamond ring and get I it I can't, over? I can't. I bought her a beautiful diamond ring last year. It was a beautiful 12-carat stone. Yeah. What a sparkler. It scares me every time she wears it. Are you afraid she'll lose it? No, but if she ever drops it, she'll have seven years' bad luck. I... <laughs> Look, don't be silly, Costello. Say, have you noticed how bright and... And, and happy and cheerful oh, all the shoppers Abbott, are. They you... should be. Have, have you noticed oh, all that? well, look at that gaiety. Yeah. They're all full of the spirit of mule tide. Yeah, the mule tide is all... Mule tide. <laughs> mule tide? Mule tide. You mean mule tide. I'll but... tide what? No, 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 but speaking, speaking of mules, he... hey, here's the shoe department. Now, that gives me a very, very bright idea. Why don't you buy your girlfriend a pair of mules? A pair of what? What do you say to a pair of mules? I say, whoa, or get out. <laughs> I mean, if he's stubborn, I whip him. Costello, look, if I'm talking about I a pair... I get a jockey like Bailey, I'd put him on and whip him good. All right, look at him. Will you listen to me, please? I'm talking about a pair of bedroom mules. Oh, what? Bedroom mules. Bedroom mules? Yes. My wife has all kinds of mules in her bedroom. Red mules, green mules. She even has a pair of checkered mules. Abbott, did you see all these different colored mules with your own eyes? Why, certainly I... Well, why not? I see them every night. In fact, I saw them this morning. All the colored mules? Every one of them. Let me smell your breath. There you are. I'll behave. Look, you dummy. Doesn't your mother have mules in her bedroom? No, my father's very particular. Uh, no, no. <laughs> when your mother gets up in the morning, what does she put on her feet? Corn plaster. That's the... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> please, please, no. She must have some kind of mules. Look, there are two kind of mules, silk and felt. Felt? Yes, yes, yes. Hasn't your mother felt mules? No, sir. She never touches any kind of animal. Oh, come, come. Especially when she's cooking. No, no, look, look, look. Forget, forget about the animals, please. Look, every woman likes mules. My wife uses a pair of mules to go around the house in. What's the matter? Is she too lazy to walk? No, no. <laughs> Look, when she gets up in the morning, she always slips on her mule. It's her own fault. Why don't she keep them out in the backyard? Right, listen. My wife needs her mules to keep her feet warm. You mean you all sleep in the same bed? S- sleep in the same bed? My wife keeps her mules under the bed. For goodness sakes, don't the Board of Health complain? Oh. <laughs> Look, let's get the whole thing. Here I am trying to help you with your Christmas shopping, and what do I get? A lot of idiotic talk. Is there anything I can do for you? We carry a full line of cosmetics. Rouge, powder, lipstick, face cream, and cleansing tissue. Cleansing what? Tissue. Tissue. Well, it seems kind of tilly, but if you want to tiss me, go ahead. <laughs> you tiss me and I'm tissue. No, 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 no. Costello, this lady is trying to help you. Uh, yeah. Now I... you stop talking like that. No, 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 no. She's no. trying to help you. That's what she's trying. To tiss you. Yeah, no, no, yeah, well, wanna... I have some lovely perfumes here. Take a whiff of this. It's called One Night in Paris. One Night in Paris? Yeah. Take a whiff of this. My goodness, what is that? Five days at the racetrack. (laughs) Costello, look, let me handle this, please. Uh, Look, madam, my friend here is a little confused. He doesn't know what to get his girl for Christmas. Oh, well, maybe I can help. I wish you would, please. Yeah. What kind of a complexion does your girlfriend have? Is she fair, dark, or medium? She's speckled. (laughs) Speckled? Do you mean she has a complexion of an olive? Yes, ma'am. Pits and all. <laughs> well, from your description of the girl, I imagine she could use one of our facial kits. One of your what? Uh, the lady wants to sell you a kit. What I want to buy a kit for? I'm going to get married and have kits of my own. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You see, you don't understand. This is a beauty kit with full instructions. All your girlfriend has to do is apply some of this lotion. Then she covers her face with the white of an egg, some sour cream, and a cake of yeast. Oh, she did that once. Yeah, what happened? The next morning, she broke out in biscuits. <laughs> Tiss you. Oh. Get the kisser on. Oh. Never mind, quiet. <laughs> Never mind, no remarks, Costello, oh, please. You silly, silly boy. You tickle me. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> you tickle me first. No, 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 no. Hey, Abbott, you kiss her. I will not, please. Please. Where did I leave off? Costello, look, if you don't buy something pretty soon, I'm going to walk out and leave you. Oh, now, just a moment, boys. Now, how about something... <laughs> I found it. Go ahead. Yeah. What were you saying? I don't want you to get away now. How about something for the young lady's hair? Does she have a snoot? Certainly she's got a snoot. Yeah? Well, is it 
it a long snood that hangs down her back? No. It's a short snood that turns up at the end. She's a very snooty dame. Costello, the lady is talking about your girlfriend's hairdo. <laughs> yeah. What's your girlfriend's hairdo? What's her hairdo? Yeah, that's what I said. It comes out when she combs it. Hello. Costello, we're trying to find out how does she... How does she do... What does she do with her hair? Does she uh, pile it on top of her head or does she drop it down her neck? She just hangs it in a cloth. <laughs> no, no. You dummy, some... Some women, look, some women wear buns in their hair and some have rats. Rats? Yes, yes. My mother had a rat in her hair for years. That's no way to talk about your father. Uh, look, Costello, does Miss Poolcue wear her hair off her face? No, it takes too long to wear it off. She has to pull it out with a tweet. Hey, uh, Costello, that's no way to talk about your girlfriend. That's slander. Slander? Yes. Don't you know what slander is? Sure. Slander. Yes. That's tall and skinny. And that has nothing to do with my girl. She's short and fat like me. Only I'm prettier than she is. Say, you say your girl is short and fat. Yes, I've got just the Christmas present for her. A special weight-reducing machine called the Melt Your Belt Away Fat Cabinet. There it is, standing right there. Costello, that sounds good. How much does your girl weigh? 240 pounds with her girdle on. Well, how much does she weigh with it off? I don't know. She's never been able to get it off. <laughs> will take your girl's fat off. If you don't believe it, get into the machine and try it for yourself. Now, that's no, no. fair enough. That's fair enough. I Go on. I want to get in Go ahead, get in the machine. Yeah, we'll, but I said I don't want to we'll get in there. we find out if it works. Get I in there. won't get, get in there. Go on, get in there. Get in there. I'll take it. There you are. Now, that's a good boy. Now, we'll turn on the machine, and you'll see how it melts the fat away in no time. <laughs> Costello, Costello, where are you? Speak to me. Costello, where are you? I'm right here, Rabbit. But all I see is a little puddle of water. Well, don't step in it. It's me. Abbott and Costello will be back in just a moment. Thanks to the Yanks of the Week, tonight we salute Sergeant Benjamin F. Lambeth of Ashborough, North Carolina awarded the Silver Star for his gallantry in action in Italy. In one mission, he is credited with killing 25 Nazis, wounding five more, and scattering the rest in confusion. In your honor, Sergeant Lambeth, the makers of camels are sending to our fighters overseas 400,000 camel cigarettes. Each of the three Camel Radio shows honors the Yank of the Week by sending free 400,000 Camel cigarettes overseas, a total of more than a million camels sent free each week. In this country, the Camel caravans traveling from camp to camp have thanked audiences of more than 4 million Yanks with free shows and free camels. Camel broadcasts go out to the United States three times a week, a rebroadcast to our men overseas and to South America. Listen tomorrow to Jimmy Durante and Gary Moore, Monday to Bob Hawk in Thanks to the Yanks. And next Thursday to Abbott and Costello. And now, here are Bud and Lou with the final word. Well, Costello, you bought presents for everybody. I hope you're very, very happy. Abbott, I could be a lot happier. Oh, if I was only a nurse. I, uh, huh? A nurse? That's right. What would you do if you were a nurse? You know, Abbott, I read in a paper today that there's an urgent need for more Army nurses. Oh, yes, yes, I know about that. And do you know, Lou, that any nurse who enters the Army Nurse Corps now will enter with the rank... Of second lieutenant, and there is ample opportunity for advancement. You know, I hope that all the nurses that are listening in tonight will join the Army Nurse Corps and give their country the best Christmas present of all. Yes, girls, write immediately to the Surgeon General, United States Army, Washington, D.C., or call at your nearest Red Cross chapter. Good night, folks. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. And I hope Commander Holtzel feels much better. Good night to everybody in Patterson. Be sure to tune in next week for another great Abbott and Costello show. And remember, try camels on your throat and your taste. See for yourself how camels' mildness, coolness, and flavor click with you. <laughs>